In this video, we're going to be going over the new TikTok Studio app and how you can use it and the new analytics in there to grow your TikTok profile. So I jumped on my phone now and you guys can see that on the screen. Now to get into this new analytics app, all you have to do is click either on a piece of content. So if I click on one of my videos here and click more data in the bottom right, it will bring up these analytics and you can see different ones per video. There is also a specific one for your profile as well, where you can see all the analytics in there as well. So this studio app, when you get into a specific videos analytics, a couple of the things they've added here, you again can see your normal views and all of that information. But if I were to scroll down a little bit, you're able to see your retention rate graph. They had a slightly different version of this in the last one, but you can see when viewers are dropping off your video and I can drag this little ball on the bottom here and see what percent of viewers I still have at a certain length in the video and see what percent are staying. And if there's a certain point in that video, I can say, okay, why are people dropping off here? And I can figure out maybe how to get them to stay longer on my videos instead of saying, okay, maybe I took too long with this piece of information and that's why a lot of people left, or maybe I should have put visuals here. So this retention rate graph can tell you a lot about when people are leaving your content. Now, you can't expect everyone to stay till the end of your video. That's not realistic on any platform, but you can utilize this tool. Now, if we scroll down, you still have your traffic sources, but you also have search queries as well. So you can see what people are searching when they're clicking into this video. So a lot of people are searching the profile name here and a couple other of the series that I do on this TikTok channel. And that's how they're finding this piece of content. Now, that is this overview tab. Now, if I click into the viewers tab here, you'll be able to see same things before your total viewers. Now you can see the types of viewers. So you can see your new viewers versus your returning viewers and what percent of followers versus non followers saw this content. So you can see if you're being pushed to new audiences or if it's just your existing followers. Now, the rate of these is going to differ depending on your account size and depending on the type of content. With TikTok, a lot of content gets pushed to those newer viewers and slowly, usually over time, the followers will catch up to seeing that content. Now, if you have a very high rate of returning viewers compared to new viewers and your follower, your non-followers are very high, but your followers are not here, that means there's a lot of people watching your content over and over and seeing multiple pieces of your content, but they're not following you. So something you can do to help increase that and grow your actual channel is to ask them to follow or put something small on the screen because right here you can see on this piece of content, 73% of people have seen a piece of my content. So they're a returning viewer, but 66% of total viewers were not following. So that is a pretty big gap there. So if I put something on the screen or put something in the caption or just even asked at the end or middle part of the video real quick for them to follow if they're enjoying, just a little pop-up on screen, that number would probably increase and be a lot better than it is right now. So there is a lot of different information you can pull from these analytics. They then show gender, age, and location, kind of the same stuff as before. Now, if we go over to the engagement tab on the top right, you're able to see the top words that are used in your comments. So if people are saying a specific thing, so for example, this video was how rare is your body? So it talks about different body parts or things that people have on their body that might be rare or just the percentage of those. And you can see a lot of the top comments had the word motion sickness in them. Some had extra finger, deviated septum, those kind of things. So I can click on these numbers and I could see the actual comments that people are leaving on this and see if they're saying something. So I can scroll through these and I can switch the word up here to all the different words if I want to see it and see if people are saying a specific thing or a certain type of content they wanna see or what is bringing people to this content why are they commenting. When people are commenting, it's usually some emotional response. They either like the content, they relate to it, they're more engaged with it and obviously you want people commenting. They're staying on your post longer if they are commenting. So knowing what people are talking about and getting a quick little overview here can be really helpful in knowing what type of content to push in the future or how to angle your content in a specific manner to get more people to engage and be more interested. Now, if you scroll down, you have this like section here and you can see when people are leaving a like. So you can see at the start of the video, it's a lot of the likes. 27% of people are leaving a like almost instantly and that's normal for a lot of social medias. 
but you can see if there's a certain part in the video people decided to start liking. So if you are putting a call to action and asking them to like at maybe the 30 second mark, then you might be able to see if it's working there or if people are starting to drop off the video using that old retention graph we just talked about. So you're able to test things like asking for a like or for a follow and seeing how that affects if you are getting likes or if people are stopping to watch the video using that retention chart. So those are the different ones in the individual piece of content for the TikTok Studio app. Now, if we click TikTok Studio in our profile here, you're gonna see this analytics tool. And if I click into view all, there's a couple new pieces of analytics in here. Now we're gonna sort, we're just gonna do, choose a custom date range. It only goes back to August 4th of 2023. So let's just say I chose August 4th to November 1st. I'm able to see kind of the same info before, how many post views, profile views, likes and comments and shares, and the graph of those. And if I click on likes, for example, I can see how it's distributed over time. And then if I scroll down, you're able to see where a lot of your traffic is coming from. So this profile has a lot of search traffic. So people are searching for a specific piece of content and that's how they're finding a lot of these videos. Now, normally the For You page is one of the bigger ones, but because this account hasn't really been active a lot in these timeframes, I think I was active one day, I made one post this month. That's the reason search is so high. Normally you're gonna see For You page be one of your highest rated ones. And you can see if people are finding you from a sound or from following, and if you wanna see those specific ones, you can click into that piece of content and see what it is. Now for search queries, you'll be able to see more data if you have more on this. Again, mine wasn't active when they started kind of implementing the search queries here, so it doesn't have any data for that, but you'll be able to see this if you are active and people are searching for your profile. So that's that overview tab. If you click into the content tab, you're gonna see your top posts and you can sort them by most new viewers. So see how people are discovering your content. If there's a certain video that you're getting a lot of new viewers or just views in general, you can see ones that people like or the ones that drove the most followers because the one that drove the most followers is not the one that drove the most new viewers, surprisingly. So you're able to decipher a lot of content here and you can always click into these posts if they are in the last 365 days. These ones are not for me. Now you can click on this viewers tab on the top and you have your normal metrics here. So total viewers and total new viewers. So you can see we get a lot more new viewers compared to returning. And then you have your normal user analytics, so your follower analytics here, and what times they're active, kind of the same stuff. You can see when people are really active and viewing your content and you can scroll over, see how many. Another really helpful tool is creators that your viewers also watch. So you can see specific channels that are common and scroll through these. And this is a great way to click into these and get some content ideas to see what might perform well, because you know your audience is interested in the content that these other creators are making. And you can do the same thing with the posts your viewers viewed and see what they're watching. Now, I don't think the what they're watching is as beneficial because it cannot be the greatest thing. It could be things like ads as well that are in here. So take that with a grain of salt, but the channels or the creators is a great way to get some content ideas. Now, if you go over to this follower section here, kind of the same stuff, you can see how many total followers you have and then how many you've gained each day in each time frame, we can customize that. And then you have your follower insights and active times as well. So followers is different, these analytics, than the viewer ones over here. So you can see people who have viewed your content versus people who follow and you can compare and say, maybe I need to post more for new viewers. So people that maybe aren't my followers and you can compare these two graphs between the two and see how they differ. And then you have live analytics. Those are still separate on their own. So these are all the new analytics that the TikTok Studio app has. Tired of feeling overwhelmed with marketing your small business? Let our experienced marketing team help your business grow. With personalized strategies tailored to meet your needs, we'll help you stand out in a crowded market. Contact us today for more information at foxsocialmedia.com.